Have you ever marveled at the sheer diversity of our planet? Our world is a magnificent tapestry, woven with threads of cultures, landscapes and wildlife, each unique and vibrant in its own right. From the towering peaks of the Himalayas to the vast expanses of the Serengeti, from the bustling markets of Bangkok to the quiet hamlets of the English countryside, our planet is a testament to diversity. Now, let's put this into perspective. There are 195 countries recognized by the United Nations. That's 195 distinct ways of life, each with its own traditions, customs and ways of seeing the world. In Italy, you might wake up to the aroma of freshly brewed espresso, while in Japan, a serene tea ceremony could mark the start of your day. And in the heartland of America, you might find yourself in a lively rodeo, a world away from the rhythmic beats of an African drum circle under the starlit sky. But the diversity isn't confined to our cultures. It extends to the natural world that surrounds us, from the iridescent feathers of a bird of paradise in New Guinea to the majestic antlers of a moose in the Canadian wilderness. Each species adds its own splash of color to the canvas of our planet. And let's not forget the landscapes, each more breathtaking than the last. The emerald green of the Amazon rainforest, the stark white of the Antarctic tundra, the fiery red of the Sahara Desert, each a testament to the world's natural diversity. This diversity, in all its forms, is precious. It enriches our lives, broadens our perspectives and teaches us the value of respect and understanding. It's a reminder that our planet is a shared home, a place where every culture, every species, every landscape has a role to play. But here's a question to ponder. But how much do we really know about these 195 countries? Let's begin with Russia, the world's largest country by land area. This colossal nation stretches across 11 time zones from the Baltic Sea in the west to the Pacific Ocean in the east. It's a land of stark contrasts, where the frozen tundra of Siberia gives way to the sun-soaked beaches of Sochi. The culture of Russia is as varied as its geography. From the classical ballets of St. Petersburg to the nomadic traditions of the Siberian tribes, there's a rich tapestry of customs and practices that make Russia unique. Its landmarks, too, are world-renowned. Who can forget the iconic onion domes of St. Basil's Cathedral or the imposing walls of the Kremlin? Uniquely positioned at the crossroads of Europe and Asia, Russia serves as a bridge between two continents, blending the influences of both into a culture that's distinctly its own. Despite its vastness, Russia is just one piece of our diverse global puzzle. From the largest, we move to the smallest, Vatican City. Just over four-tenths of a square mile in size, this independent city-state, nestled within the heart of Rome, Italy, holds the title of the world's smallest recognized independent nation. But don't let its size fool you. Vatican City is a powerhouse of religious and historical significance. It's the spiritual and administrative headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, home to the Pope and a treasure trove of iconic art and architecture. Its renowned St. Peter's Basilica, the Sistine Chapel with Michelangelo's ceiling, and the Vatican Museums are just a few of the architectural and artistic marvels that this tiny nation holds. Its rich history spans centuries, from its establishment in 1929 back to the time of the Roman Empire. Despite its size, Vatican City's influence reaches to the four corners of the globe through its religious, cultural, and historical impact. Vatican City shows us that even the smallest corners of the world can hold great significance. Next, we turn our attention to the country with the highest population, China. A land of staggering diversity and scale, China boasts a population that exceeds 1 billion 400 million people. This makes it the most populous country on planet Earth. But what makes China truly unique goes far beyond just its population. China's culture, deeply rooted in history, stretches back more than 5,000 years. Its ancient customs and traditions continue to influence the daily lives of its people. From the Spring Festival, the most important celebration of the year, to the Moon Festival that celebrates the autumn harvest, China's rich cultural tapestry is woven with vibrant threads of tradition and heritage. But China is not just about history and culture. It is also a land of remarkable geographical diversity. From the arid dunes of the Gobi Desert to the lush subtropical forests of Yunnan, from the towering peaks of the Himalayas to the bustling metropolis of Shanghai, China is a country of contrasts. 
Its major cities like Beijing and Shanghai are bustling hubs of commerce and modernity. Skyscrapers reach for the sky, neon lights dazzle the eyes, and the hum of activity never ceases. Yet a short journey outside these cities reveals a different China. A China of winding rivers, terraced rice fields, and serene temples. A China where age-old traditions continue to thrive amidst the rapid pace of modern life. On the global stage, China's importance cannot be overstated. It is a major economic powerhouse, the world's largest exporter, and a significant player in international politics. Its influence extends to every corner of the globe, shaping the world as we know it. China's ability to maintain its cultural richness while rapidly advancing technologically is a testament to its adaptability. A country where the ancient and the modern coexist, where tradition and innovation intertwine, and where a diverse population thrives amidst a multitude of landscapes. China, with its vast population, is a testament to human adaptability and cultural richness. From the bustling population of China, we travel to the serene solitude of Vatican City. In the heart of Rome, Italy, nestled within its ancient walls and vibrant cityscape, lies the smallest independent state in the world, Vatican City. It's not just the smallest by size, but it's also the least populous, with a mere 800 residents. These residents include the Pope, the Swiss Guard, and the clergy who serve in the Vatican. But don't let its size fool you. Despite being only about one-eighth the size of Central Park in New York, Vatican City punches well above its weight in terms of historical and cultural significance. It's the spiritual home to over a billion Catholics worldwide and houses an astonishing collection of art and architecture, including the Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Basilica. Vatican City, with its quiet peace, reminds us that size and population are not always indicators of influence or significance. From Russia to Vatican City, from China to Tuvalu, our planet is a mosaic of diverse cultures, geographies and histories. Our journey so far has taken us through a whirlwind tour around the globe, uncovering the vastness of Russia, the compact charm of Vatican City, the bustling populace of China and the serene solitude of Tuvalu. Yet, as we've seen, these countries are more than just their size or population. Each one paints a unique color in the global canvas, contributing their own traditions, landscapes and stories to the collective human experience. Russia, with its expansive Siberian wilderness and rich literary heritage. Vatican City, a religious epicenter steeped in centuries-old art and architecture. China, a melting pot of ancient customs and cutting-edge technology. Tuvalu, a humble island nation showcasing the raw beauty of nature and the resilience of its people. This is the true diversity of our planet. It's not just about the number of countries or the size of their territories. It's about the myriad cultures, languages, foods, music and traditions that each nation brings to the table. It's about the historical narratives they've woven, the natural wonders they safeguard and the unique perspectives they offer. But it's also about the challenges they face, the changes they undergo and the future they envision. Diversity is not static. It evolves with our human story, shaped by our actions, decisions and dreams. And understanding this diversity is not just an academic exercise. It's a way to foster empathy, promote cooperation and ensure a more harmonious coexistence in our shared world. So let's continue to explore, learn and appreciate the richness of our global neighborhood. Let's celebrate the differences, understand the similarities and work towards a world where every nation's story is heard, valued and respected. So next time you look at a map, remember every country, large or small, Populous or quiet has its own unique story to tell.